What up everyone? How's it going? So I just finished beating um, The Walking Dead season one. I know this is very late. This game came out a long time ago, but I actually got it spoiled for me. So I wanted to not play it for a while and go in with a fresh mind. And as I was halfway through, I got the ending spoiled, which wasn't um, ideal, but whatever. I tried to forget about it as much as I could. And uh, Telltale did a wicked job with this season. I bought the definitive edition, so it comes with all four seasons, I think, or five. Fuck me if I'm wrong. But I just beat the first one, and there's five episodes in each season. Each one ranges from like an hour and a half to two hours, and they're all really fun. As you know, Telltale is an interactive game. It's pretty slow, but the story's really good. It's pretty simple, but the characters are really likable. At the start, I was like, I don't know why people fucking care about these characters so much. And, you know, as you go through the longer episodes... They get more a lot in depth, a lot more emotional. I was not expecting this to be so emotional as it was. I almost cried at the end. I didn't. <laughs> I held back my tears. But that ending when, spoiler alert, if you haven't played the game, when Lee gets killed by Clementine and like forces her to do it because he's turning. And you do have two options, but I mean, we all know how Telltale works. Either way, it's going to be the same outcome. So... I, I, that's the ending I did. I'm not sure what that other one is. But it was a nail biter to say the least. Episode 1, 2, and 3, and 5 were flawless. They didn't drag on too long. I, there was episode 4 that kind of got me just a, a bit annoyed about how long it was. The second one took, the, no, the fourth episode took me almost three hours to beat. A lot of that was because sometimes I didn't know where to go. But for the majority, every el everything else was simple. But that fourth episode just dragged a bit too long. It did feel like there was a bit of filler in there just for the sake of it. And some characters show up for no fucking reason. They help you and they just leave. And it's just kind of a waste of time. I don't remember the blonde girl's name. And she has like a pickaxe as a weapon. But, like, you could completely, completely could do the story without her. But I guess if we didn't, our characters wouldn't have ended up where they did. Because they're safe because of her. She knew where they're sheltered. So, I guess that makes it bearable. But that fourth episode just dragged for me. Other than that, man, the first season alone was a 9 out of 10 for me. I enjoyed all the characters. I enjoyed all the different options of dialogue you had. And I didn't really like Lee at the beginning, but um, like I said, they grow on you and you kind of understand where they're coming from. He explains why he was in the police car to begin with at the beginning of the game. And then near the end of the game, you go, oh, yeah, okay. it kind of makes sense why he did what he did. His wife was cheating on him and he uh, killed the boyfriend. <laughs> but I think there is a bit more to it than that. And um yeah, all around a great Telltale game. Very easy to get trophies, especially for a trophy hunter like me. I am very excited to play the next couple of seasons and see how Clementine evolves. I really, really, really dig the ending after the credits where she's just walking in the forest and she's all by herself. And all, she, all you see is these two figures walking up a hill. And to me, I'm like, oh, maybe those are the two... I think it was Christine, her name? I can't remember. There's so many characters. But there was a husband and a girl. Depending on who you want to survive, they survived at the end. And Lee told them, hey, look after Clementine for me if I die. So I thought maybe, hey, maybe those, that's them on the hill and they're looking for her. And then you kind of see how they're walking. I really, really, really love how Telltale did the scene. And the camera is like so far away and you can't tell if they're human or not. You can't tell if they're zombies. And Clementine takes a couple of steps, looks up, and then they start to come towards her. 
and then it just ends. I love, I love shit like that. I love endings like that. And um, all the voice acting here is really well done too. So I can't wait to play the second season, which I'm going to probably in a couple of days. There is like a, I think it's called 200 Days or something. It's like a mini DLC, but you get a gold trophy for that. So I'm definitely doing that. And I'm curious how long this is going to take me and like how long the next episodes are going to be. Some benefit from it. Some of them need to be long, but holy fuck, that fourth episode did not need to drag as much as it did. And it just didn't find the fourth one to be that fun. You're in the sewers a lot. The level design was kind of boring. But other than that, man, like I said, 9 out of 10. If you haven't played any Telltale games, I suggest you do. They did a fucking wicked job with Batman, I think. They nailed the character of Batman even more than the movies do. And I think they're a really good company. I can't wait for Wolf Among Us 2. That's going to be sick. Loved the first one. I ate that shit up. How wacky and weird it was. And I think Telltale has a couple of new games coming out. I'm not sure if they're going under Telltale anymore. Because I thought they got... I thought they went bankrupt. That's what I heard. And then they didn't put anything out for the longest time. But Wolf Among Us 2 is coming out next year, baby. And that's going to be wicked. 2023 is literally right around the corner. We're already in September, so... It's going to come fast. So thank you everyone for watching. And hopefully by tomorrow or Thursday or Friday, I'll have a review out for some sort of movie. Sorry about the lack of content lately, but there's just nothing to watch. So yet again, thank you for 70 subscribers. Let's keep going.